back guys to the channel, we're here to talk some Rangers things on the 11th of January 2024. And we're going to dive straight into it with the BBC Gossip column, then we'll find a wee bit more news to talk about, but there'll be fids throughout the day. But, you know, yesterday I was heartbroken. Michi Bachuai, I'm thinking, oh, this guy, this guy, yeah. This guy could be coming to Rangers. No, it looks like he's not coming to Rangers. Um, it looks like the possible sn the snag in the deal is... Talks hitting the wall for the six for sixty thousand grand a week, but Rangers came out yesterday and said that they've completely like the, there's no interest. We're not interested in it now. Here, maybe they're just distancing themselves, not trying to get fans too excited in case the deal does fall through, which is smart. You know, we don't want to get our hype our our, our, our our hype up about it, our hopes up. Um, but we kind of guessed that once Rangers came out and said that, you know, the Sun, the Daily Racket, they're just going to come out with the fake news pish and be like, oh, Rangers can't afford the 60 grand a week. You know, like, you can say they can't afford the 60 grand a week, right? But the reality of that is, is the fact that you're paying, it's a six month loan. It's more like you're giving them, mil you're giving like Fenerbahce millions to cover it. Uh, I mean, 60 grand a week, how many weeks, six, say, last up until the end of the season, May. You know, I mean, it's not like it would amount to that much money. Like 10 weeks is 600,000. So 20 weeks, for example, is 1.2 million. I think what I think spending 1.2 million for Michi Batchuai to bring on our six month loan is great business. I think it is. You know, I know a lot of people are skeptical about him, don't really understand how. And like, I, I, I we weighed it up the other day about Shankland and Batchuai, how. Yeah, you know what? If you don't have the the millions to go sign Shanklin for four and four and a half, four five million, whatever, and you can wait to the summer, bring this guy in for six months to cover that be a wee stop gap. You know, even though he's better, he is he is. I mean, he cannot deny that Michi Batshuayi is more all round better than Lauren Shanklin, right? I think Shanklin's probably a better finisher, but everything else, Batshuayi's better at, right? And that's not me saying there's like. A humongous difference, right? But this guy has proven it in every league, pretty much. Shankland, you know, he had his wee spell in the Belgian league, didn't go according to plan. And I get it. It's what they do in this league. We've got to bear that in mind as well. But here, I think, I think what the ideal thing coming out of Rangers the past couple of days would have been, you get Batch Y for six months, then you get Shankland. But sadly, it doesn't really look like that with Batch Y. But yeah, we knew the fake news would come with, they can't afford the wages. But uh, hopefully this deal will still be alive very soon. Uh, let's talk about the million man Hoffey, because Rangers are poised to move for him. But Leicester City are also interested in the 22-year-old winger. Leicester City, who are, of course, um, championship. They are a championship team. They're a diddy team. Oh, but they won the Premier League. I don't care if they won the Premier League, all right? They won the Premier League. It was ages ago. It was, oh, it wasn't that long ago. Eight seasons ago now. I eight seasons ago, but wait, was it eight? I was eight seasons ago. Man, it's that long ago. I mean, it doesn't feel like yesterday, but it feels like a couple of seasons ago. But it's quite incredible to think how actually long like, football, football time waits for no man, as Rocky Balboa said. But million man half, we made a, wee, a few videos on him, um, on the channel. But as of right now, what are Rangers doing? Are, are they purposely keeping our ho hopes low to rise up? To surprise us late on in this window, or is it going to take more? Now there is a wee bit of talk about Josh Doidge as well here. Um, let's see, what is it? Doidge no here. So look, look, it talks about Torino and Marseille wanting them. We for some reason we are not even on the the board. And then it talks about Galatasaray showing interest. Like, the only logic for me, like, to bring in, to take, to send Yelmas out on loan is if we can, like, get Doidge on loan or something, or another left back, but I, I think sending out Yelmas on loan is ridiculous. If we're going to do anything with Yelmas, has to be sell or keep. Can't just be a loan. Loan's pish. But anyway, we'll be back later with some more news. Till next time. Peace.